Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to graph um, this inequality. And to solve this inequality, the main important thing that we have to do is we have to solve for y. And right now we have y is multiplied by negative 1. Or you could say it's a negative y, but remember there's this little 1 that we can represent. So really, it's being multiplied by negative 1. So therefore, to undo this, I need to divide by negative 1 on both sides. So therefore, I have y. And just like when solving one variable inequalities, whenever we multiply or divide by a negative number, we have to switch the sign. And then we divide this negative 1 into both of our terms of our expression. So now I have negative 2x minus 2. Now I need to go ahead and graph this. Now again, thinking about this as the same thing as the equation y equals negative 2x minus 2. I like to graph to think about this as just a linear uh, equation before thinking about a linear inequality, because really that's what we're doing, except now the inequality is going to help us with our shading, as well as determining if our line is going um, to be dashed or solid. So when looking at this, we need to make sure we remember y equals mx plus b, where m represents the slope and b represents the y-intercept. Okay, So to go and graph this, I'm going to go to my y-intercept, which is at negative 2, and I'm going to make a nice big dot. Now to follow the slope, um, remember, when dealing with, especially when graphing slope, what we like to do is we always like to write the slope as a fraction. So I can always write a whole number as a fraction by putting it over 1. Therefore, my slope, which is rise over run, right, is equal to negative 2 over 1. That means to find my next point, I need to go down 2 over 1. So I can go down 2 units to the right 1. And you can just continue this pattern as many times as you want to, but you only really need to do it once. And just remember, you could also write this as 2 over negative 1. It doesn't really matter where the negative sign is. So that means I would rise 2 and then go to the left 1. And when I kind of connect my points here, I'd make a nice big line. But before I go and connect my points, I want to determine, is this a solid or a dashed line? Well, since my inequality symbol is greater than and not greater than or equal to, this is going to represent a boundary line that will be dashed. Now, do I shade below or above the line? So to determine that, what I need to do is determine a test point. And the best test point ever to choose is 0, 0. And you can always use 0, 0 as long as your line does not go through the origin or go through 0, 0. So since it does not go through the origin, to test 0, 0, all I'm simply going to do is plug in 0 in for x and 0 in for y, because that's the coordinate 0, 0. So 0 is greater than negative 2 times 0 minus 2. Negative 2 times 0 is 0, so I have 0 is greater than negative 2. Is that true or false? It's true. So since that's true, that means all points that are above the line are also going to be true. And if you don't believe me, you can just choose another point that is above the line and test it. And guess what? It will be true. And any point that is below the line will be false, as well as any point that lies on the line, including this point, um, negative 1, 0. And let's just kind of show that to show why it's dashed. So if I was going to plug in negative 1, 0, I would have 0 greater than, or greater than negative 2 times yep, negative 1 minus 2. So therefore, I get 0 is greater than negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. Positive 2 minus 2 is 0. 0 is not greater than 0. So that is false. That's why this dash, that's why the, the equation or the line is not a part of the solution. And we represent that as dashed. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph a uh, linear inequality. Thanks.